What's up everybody? Welcome to the Mod Madness Mod Class Showcase. Today we're going to look at the new Tech Mage class. It's picking up a bit of steam. We're also going to look at a few like updates. Like this is the new Dread Pirate thing. It actually kind of works for the class. Then we got the Otaku Fighter, which is pretty much just a screen cap of the uh, character. The Atlantis, they've always had that. Engineer, Necromancer... Canterbury still hasn't done anything. Paladin, always been like that. Dragon Prince, we'll get to him later. Warlock, someday. Outlander, basic class. What we want is this. The Tech Mage. Let's, uh, yeah, that looks nice. Let's go with... Yeah. We're going to call you Dr. Horrible. And we shall have... Lamar the Head Crab with you. Sorry I do not have a preset build out with this class. But also it should be said that... Uh, if you are going to use Community Class Mod Pack... You will not have the proper... Uh, or you can't load a save from the tech mages class like uh, I had a couple tech mages that I had preset from just a tech mage but when the community class mod pack loaded in and I got rid of my tech mage it wouldn't let me run the save and I'm gonna run the community class mod pack more than I'm gonna run just the tech mage so I had to get rid of them I think this is a Okay, so tech mage got a few abilities of note. I'm just gonna go through what my build would have if I had my build this is fun, it looks cool. Then we put some to this, because I like to man it with a cannon. That's incendiary buckshot. Robot army, this is another great one. Let's just get in there and start smashing things so I can get some of these points. Which this ability also will break shields at the first tier, which is really useful. Maybe a bit OP considering you uh can pretty much get it as soon as you want. But Nonetheless, useful, and the class overall does not feel that overpowered. Alright, I should be getting any second now with my experience mods. Yes. One thing I'm not sure about this class is the way I play it with a cannon, because there is no real focus on what weapon you should use. There are abilities focusing on staffs, on pistols, on shields, on shotguns and cannons. So, I just don't know where to put my skills. Right now, I sort of get them balanced between strength, vitality, and focus. Let's put up strength right there. So it's really like, you're not going to be able to get it very many specialized weapons. You will be able to get things that are uh, focusing and balanced, though. We're going to go for... Just look at those bottom stats right there. 14 futuristicness, 26 resistance to logic. How can we pass that up? We'll grab real abilities as we go through the first area. I will be having more check-ins on this guy. I said I was going to do that with the otaku, but I don't want to do that with the otaku until the otaku is nerfed like mad. Because right now, I got it to level 40, I believe. It is nigh unplayable. Like, there, it's just too powerful. There is no fun in the class. It's making nice progress, though. It just needs tweaking. But we're not here to talk about the otaku. We're here to talk about the tech mage. And it's fantastic fireball attack. You feel like a supervillain, which probably doesn't help that you've got this fantastic starting armor that's pretty much aesthetic. But we're going to put our next point into robot army, which summons the hammerbot. And the good thing about the hammerbot, or perhaps double-edged sword is it's got a long cooldown and they don't despawn unless you enter a new room <sighs> but they sack like I can just sit here all day and keep on summer summoning more hammer bots like I could just get like a few dozen hammer bots on call and I'm there we go and I'll get a cannon and a sec let's go
And I don't know just how much piercing these disintegration beams have. Because sometimes you pierce enemies, sometimes you don't. Ooh. We'll have that in a sec. And just like that, summon another hammer bot. Now I got three. Robot army. Complete with long range, blah, long range disintegration death beams. Which you actually do get a death ray if you keep it up. It's a great death ray. Which I think I'm going to also have a staff on secondary just for using the death ray. But I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that much into the class and I'm spreading my uh, leveling time between so many characters right now. It's getting crazy. Let's just get through the murder. Get rid of all these ratlins. Okay, looks like we're up to three. Maybe it caps at three. Maybe I didn't notice one of my robots die. If you do look closely there, that is the original engineer backpack. This is based off the engineer. But hey, we made it. Let's equip... Ooh, shiny. We're going to take that. And then on our secondary, we're going to have this for the death ray and the tractor beam attacks. Then we're going to shovel in... That looks good. Let's turn in some quests, cash in that skill point, and get ready to party. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. Commander Vale the... Chill. You have a new quest. Is this any better than my cannon? Oh, it is. 43, 50, Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna get... What am, who am I kidding? I'm a low level. Nothing. Alright, moving on. Might as well give him something. I've lost so much extra armor these days just to having to delete characters because like one of them got stuck one of them got glitched let's give him the ghastly set just for the sake of having him get some sort of boost and that'll do it cashing that skill point i'm gonna get power draw which is what i want to replace this with power draw what it does is uh it stuns and shoots out a little AoE burst, but more importantly, over the course of four seconds, you will start to regenerate mana, which is great for when you're spamming fireballs like I do. Cool. Alright, I'm going to have maybe a couple more minutes of gameplay, then we're going to call it a wrap here. Just to give you an example of like just how we roll with the Tech Mage. Maybe look at a bit more of that flavor text. This does, even when you don't have the uh, the ability to instantly shatter shields, it will still bring a high likelihood of shattering your shields. Come on, give me a level, give me a level. I need a level. You, give me your level. Oh boy. That's what I wanted. Now, last ability I want to show you is Incendiary Buckshot. Works on shotguns and cannons. It pretty much means you get to deal extra fire damage every time you hit with a shotgun or a cannon. And there are all sorts of like little like cryo steel plating. Reinforce your armor with cryo steel, reducing the fierce sting of a hammer. I wonder what that's from tech-related supervillains having to deal with hammer pains. Then we've got, uh... Where is it? Oh, this one. First torchlight. Then the world! <laughs> Let's see if I can find any other besides calling henchmen. Nah. Meh. Freeze ray. Freeze rays are fun. Then we've got the death ray. 
That should say track, wait, no, death rate, death rate. Oh, that's just a placeholder. Anything here? Evil Mastermind. You gotta have that. I, I like the flavor text on this one. Now, in closing, and a sort of TLDR, the pros, nice flavor text, good skill builds for a new class. The cons, you don't really know what weapon to specialize in, nor do you know where to put your skill points. I like this class overall, however, I just wish there was a little more direction in it. It is a alpha class as we speak. Also, one last word of note, make sure that if you're going to use Community Class Mod Pack, you don't have a previous tech mage, otherwise the saves will not be compatible. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time when we have another class to showcase. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you dislike the video, I'm not going to cry myself to sleep. Go ahead, dislike it. Your opinion matters. If you got something to say, leave a comment. And if you really want to, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be friends. We'll party. It'll be great. See you next time.